Good evening. It is day 22, so the start of week four. Uh, I want to take today to talk about some non-scale victories. Uh, for instance, I no longer have a dependence on sugar or caffeine. Uh, I've actually gone the last three days not having any sugar whatsoever. I had like a savory breakfast, savory dinner. Um, another thing is I feel like I have more energy and uh, it's a more even energy throughout the day. I feel like my muscles are sort of waking up, so I think going really slowly with the weightlifting was good and giving myself lots of rest as well. Uh, and now it's almost like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's it's almost like a, a crawling feeling, like when I'm not using my muscles enough, I have the urge to fidget and move. So um, it, at the very least, my neat, my non-exercise activity level is like it's going up and I have the energy and I feel like my muscles want to move. They want to be exercised. So um, I, I can only see good things coming from that as long as I don't overdo it and I don't overtrain. I feel like my hunger levels are regulating as well. Um, what I'm doing is I'm not snacking anymore, but I'm having really big meals. And uh, that just like keeps me satisfied from one meal to the next. And so I know that my blood sugar levels are evening out. I'm having less dysglycemia and that only means good things for my relationships as well. I'm uh, getting along a lot better with my boyfriend, with my family, because I'm not like hangry all day, basically. Um, in the past, whenever I've attempted to lose weight, people kind of knew to stay away from me, except for like around dinner time or like right after dinner time. And now I feel like pretty stable in um, my mood and in my emotions all day. So my goal for this week is to uh, push my bedtime a little bit earlier and wake up a little bit earlier and I'm probably just going to like move it 10 minutes or 15 minutes every couple of days and just make it really slow and by the end of week four I want to be down 12 pounds from my starting weight. I actually ended up losing a little bit more than three pounds last week so I only have like a little bit more to lose this week but I just want to um, go slow with it and not like I don't want to expect myself to lose like a ton of weight this week or anything. So small goals, small milestones, and that's the only pressure I'm going to put on myself uh, physically and health-wise this week anyways. So that's all for day 22, and I will see you all next time. Good morning. It is day 24, so it's the middle of week four. I am officially down to my October weight. So it took me about four weeks to put on that weight <laughs> and it took me another four weeks almost to uh, take it off again. So um, I heard from somebody, I can't remember who, that however long it takes for you to put on the weight should be at least that much time to uh, take the weight off. This goes for like pregnancy as well. I don't think it's very fair for mothers to feel like they have to take all the weight off uh, within like three months, considering they usually spent about nine months putting the weight on. So I overshot my goal. I'm down 13 pounds so I can relax a little bit for the rest of this week, although not, not too much. But my next goal will be um, losing the grief weight that I had put on this past summer after putting Tibby, my dog, down. So Tibby's supposed to be a small to medium dog, so her average weight is about 20 to 22 pounds. And uh, when we put her down, uh, her last weigh-in was about 12 pounds, the poor thing. So um, it was kind of interesting that in the weeks following um, her passing, I ended up gaining like exactly 12 pounds. So there might be something symbolic in that. Maybe I was trying to like keep her with me in some sense, but um, I'm, re I'm ready to lose that weight. This week I've been running my air purifier and it's made such a difference because I had forgotten that um, when I'm running my treadmill so much, it kicks up a lot of dust. There's a lot of lint that like comes off of my pants and um, there's the carbon dust that you know when the the carbon brushes inside the motor of the uh, treadmill uh, it, it like breaks off very gradually and so I kept waking up with this like it, w it wasn't really like congestion but it was just like an irritation and when the sun shines in through the window I see like tons of dust floating everywhere so I normally run my air purifier in the summers due to allergies but I decided to like drag it out and run it this evening this past week and oh my gosh like what a difference it's made so you know it it's not only you know what I put in my body in terms of like food and water and things but I <laughs> 
I need clean air to breathe. <laughs> so that's all for today, and I will see you next time. Good evening. It is day whatever. It's day 26. So uh, it's Friday. I allowed myself a little bit of dessert. Um, normally I allow myself desserts on Sundays, but um, my parents were entertaining on Friday. So I had a little bit of the dessert that they had bought that, that was left over from their guests. So um, it was an interesting experience because I am going from what I believe to be a sugar addict and um, having very, very bad cravings, very bad dysglycemia, lots of hanger, um, tremors from hypoglycemic times. Uh, it feels like the, the whole gamut uh, to not craving sugar at all and actually being able to go without something sweet. Like I can have a savory breakfast, I can have a savory dinner and not crave dessert afterwards, which I'm, I'm just like, who am I? So, <laughs> um, and I had an interesting reaction when I had this particular dessert because it was um, eye-wateringly sweet. I was so cloyed. Um, is that the right way of saying it? That's the way my family says it, but it was very, very cloying. Uh, I felt like it was sticking to the roof of my mouth. Uh, I, I started sweating. <laughs> I was getting the sugar sweats and I actually couldn't finish it. I had to give the other half uh, to my brother. So I think this is a really good sign that um, I don't necessarily have to see food any food, even if it's junk food, as necessarily good and bad, but I no longer crave it anymore. Uh, I did not deprive myself in any way, but I had some, I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would, and I just stopped. And this is kind of revolutionary for me. I consider this kind of like a, a non-scale victory in a sense that um, my palate is changing. It's a very different experience to say like, oh man, like I really, really, really want this, but I have to practice my willpower to avoid it. I, I am literally depriving myself of it versus I could have this, but I just don't want it. And therefore I don't have to practice any willpower because uh, it's not necessarily appetizing to me. So, I mean, the experience is going to be different for everybody, but um, I'm pretty pleased with that. I consider that progress for myself. So, and that's basically all I wanted to talk about today. So I will see you on Sunday, for the conclusion of week four. Good morning, it is day 28. So I've been at this for four whole weeks. Excuse my hair, freshly washed. So over the course of this video, it might get a little bit bigger as it starts to frizz out. Um, but yes, been at this for four whole weeks. Um, since last week, I am down three and a half pounds, uh, or I was, and then I kind of popped up a little bit again because I'm getting my period. So I've got some PMS bloating and I'm sure that has affected my waist and my upper hip, uh, AKA lower belly. Uh, area. So um, I'm I'm not like obsessing about the measurements because I know that this is just a natural fluctuation of my body. Uh, but I, in other areas, I'm down uh, half an inch on my bust, a full inch on my under bust. And I think most of that is just the um, fat coming off of my back here because I, I do have a fairly fleshy back. Um, half an inch down on my waist, half an inch down on my upper hip, and this is despite the bloating, but I, I, you know, comparing my body today compared to a few days ago, I feel like I was a little bit, it, it looked a little bit more toned and less uh, puffy a couple days ago. Um, half an inch down on my bum, half an inch down on each of my thighs, and a quarter inch down on each arm. So since the start of this journey, four weeks ago, I'm down uh, 14 and a half pounds, which I think is just, it's amazing. Um, I definitely can't complain. And you know, it was, it was like late November and I was thinking that maybe I should just wait till the new year to start. And I was just like, no, maybe let's make my goal <laughs> the new year. Um, not, not just like, you know, coast through the holidays, feeling depressed and bad about myself and then choose a random arbitrary January 1st to start. I was a little bit concerned for the last day or two because all of a sudden I was 
craving things that I hadn't craved in weeks. And I felt myself kind of getting into a little bit of a slump, you know, sort of waking up with a little black cloud over my head. And I was just like, oh no, you know, like I've, I've been trying for the past month and I felt like I was succeeding against, you know, kind of staving off that winter blues, but now it's catching up to me and, and I don't want to feel that way. And what do I do? <clears throat> and then this morning I woke up and I was spotting and I realized that it was just PMS. <laughs> So I don't anticipate seeing too much change in my measurements or my weight for the next couple of days due to my PMS, but uh, I'm going to try and keep updating you guys like a few times a week. And so that's all for today. And I will see you hopefully tomorrow for the start of week five.